Greetings, Internets. Thinker2112 here at 1628 Eastern Daylight Time on Thursday, the 5th of April, 2012. Let's play Plants vs. Zombies. Alright, so I decided what I wanted to buy next. I have been grinding a little bit for money, as you can see here. I did a survival series planting lots of marigolds, which got me a lot of money. I also did Walnut Bowling too, another good money maker. So I'm going to buy the Mushroom Garden right now. And the reason for that is because I have several plants that I can't put there. Because I didn't buy a wheelbarrow. Hehe. <laughs> okay, well, that can be fixed easily enough. <laughs> Alright, um, now that I've done that... I can, uh, move these dudes. Yeah, uh... <laughs> so yeah, it's pricey. It $30,000. I almost said coins. That would be the iPhone version. Uh, yeah, it's $30,000. Ooh, I'm gonna be almost out of fertilizer now. Um, but it's worth it because you can move all of your mushrooms which will not do anything if you keep them in the main garden because they'll be asleep into an area where they will do something there are only eight types of uh there are eight types of plants that you can get for the zen garden that will grow that need the night garden and there are eight slots here so if you have all of the Zen Garden plants, you will have a different plant in each slot in this night garden. In each, you know, hole. Dirt thingy. Yeah, I also got some money from selling off an extra potato mine, because I had two. I'm going to get some more money when I sell that extra jalapeno that I got. And soon I'm going to be getting a bunch of money from these, next time I grow them. And I have some money to spare, so I'm just going to buy as much as I can of those things. I will definitely be using it. Alright, let's look at some more almanac entries here. Puff Shrew. I only recently became aware of the existence of zombies, says Puff Shrew. Like many fungi, I just assumed they were fairy tales or movie monsters. This whole experience has been a huge eye-opener for me. Suntroom. Suntroom hates sun. He hates it so much that when it builds up in his system, he spits it out as fast as he can. He just won't abide it. To him, sun is crass. Hmm. That would be like a, if a, a person hated sweat or something. Wait a minute, there are people who hate sweat. Fume Shroom. I was in a dead-end job producing yeast spores for a bakery, says Fume Shroom. Then Puff Shroom, bless him, told me about this great opportunity blasting zombies. Now I really feel like I'm making a difference. Despite Grave, Bu Grave Buster. Despite Grave Buster's fearsome appearance, he wants everyone to know that he loves kittens and spends his off hours volunteering at a local zombie rehabilitation center. It's just the right thing to do, he says. Hypnoshroom. Zombies are our friends, asserts, asserts Hypnoshroom. They are badly misunderstood creatures who play a valuable role in our ecology. We can and should do more to bring them round to our way of thinking. Scaredy Shroom. Who's there? Whispers Scaredy Shroom, voice barely audible. Go away. I don't want to see anybody. Unless it's the man from the circus. Ice Shroom. Ice Shroom frowns, not because he's unhappy or because he disapproves, but because of a childhood injury that left his facial nerves paralyzed. And I suppose that's better than, you know, having your cheeks cut up so it looks like you're always smiling. Doom Shroom. You're lucky I'm on your side, says Doom Shroom. I could destroy everything you hold dear. It wouldn't be hard. Lily Pat. 
Lily Pad never complains. Lily Pad never wants to know what's going on. Put a plant on top of Lily Pad, he won't say a thing. Does he have startling opinions or shocking secrets? Nobody knows. Lily Pad keeps it all inside. Lily Pad doesn't have much of an inside, considering it's like practically flat. Squash. I'm ready, yells Squash. Let's do it. Put me in. There's nobody better. I'm your guy. Come on. What are you waiting for? I need this. Three Peter. Three Peter likes reading. Backgammon. Three Peter likes reading, backgammon, and long periods of immobility in the park. <laughs> Instead of long walks in the park, I guess. Three Peter enjoys going to shows, particularly modern jazz. I'm just looking for that special someone, he says. Three Peter's favorite number is five. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Tango Kelp. I'm totally invisible. Tango Kelp thinks to himself. I'll just hide I'll hide here just below the surface and nobody will see me. His friends tell him they can see him perfectly well, but he'll never change. If any of you guys read Order of the Stick, there was that comic where Elon thought that he would be invisible if he took off all his clothes. <laughs> Reminds me of that. Jalapeno. Mm! Jalapeno says. He's not going to explode. Not this time. But soon. Oh, so soon. It's close. He knows it. He can feel it. His whole life's been leading up to this moment. Spikeweed. Hockey is Spikeweed's obsession. He's got box seat season tickets. He keeps close track of his favorite players. And he cons consistently cleans up in the office hockey pool. Just one problem. He's terrified of pucks. Well, that's why they have the glass and the netting. I mean, it's not there for nothing. Torchwood. Everybody likes and respects Torchwood. They like him for his integrity, for his steadfast friendship, for his ability to greatly maximize P damage. But Torchwood has a secret. He can't read. Well, as long as you don't let yourself, you know, get accused of horrible war crimes that you didn't commit because you won't uh, admit that you couldn't read and, and have to get a an 18-year-old uh, boy to read to you and have an affair with him, then wait, I don't know if anyone's actually seen that movie. Tallnut. People wonder if there's a rivalry between Walnut and Tallnut. Tallnut laughs a rich baritone laugh. How could there be anything between us? We are brothers. If you knew that what Tallnut has done for me... Tallnut's voice trails off and he smiles knowingly. I don't see a smile there, buddy. Okay, so that's it for uh, the latest edition of the Suburban Almanac. Let's kill more zombies. Hmm, Crazy Dave has a theme here. Not intentionally, I'm sure. I don't know how much, th how many things he actually does intentionally. All right. Um. Gonna have to go with Torchwood here since there are so many pea shooters. And Magnet Shrooms. Uh, actually, that's. Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. I hope. Mm, what else? I guess I'll go with these guys. No, you know what? I'm gonna go with Scaredy Shrooms, because. Yeah, I need something to help me out early on. What was the other thing I had? Oh, right. Losing my train of thought here. Hmm. I guess you could say I'm in grave danger. This is probably going to be a long level, like three flags. So by doing a, the, um, oh no, only two flags. By doing the survival, uh, pool hard, the hard pool survival stage, uh, and planting a lot of marigolds early on, I got, I think, almost 10,000 bucks from doing that. I had to dig up a lot of the marigolds at the end because I just had too many other plants I needed to put there. 
But of course that doesn't erase the money you already got from them, so if you need to dig him up right at the end, that's not really a big deal. In terms of how much money you make. I'm getting better at dealing with Gargantuars. I don't usually use that many one-shot plants, but they're actually pretty important against the Gargantuars and also against the imps that they chuck. Like, eh, when I played that level earlier today, the survival level, I had a... I used a cherry bomb to do large amounts of damage when there were... for when there were several Gargantuars, like, close to each other. And I used a squash, well, no, actually no, I didn't wind up having to use the squash because I had cattails that picked off the imps. But if, say, you're not in a water level and you can't use cattails, then those would be good. The, uh, squash, I mean. Okay, just basic zombies here to start out. So just basic shrooms. I know I should start planning repeaters soon though, because I know that the... Wait, now I guess the only tough zombie coming is the football zombie. Still, better to be prepared. Maybe what I really should start with is a couple magnet shrooms. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Don't even have to wake it up. Of course, that makes these puff shrooms useless, so, yeah. I wonder why the, uh, music doesn't change on the iPhone version, like when lots of zombies are on the screen. Like how it ch is changing now. Maybe there just wasn't enough memory to put that in? I don't know. Okay, these graves are... I was gonna say they're too close, but... I guess they aren't really close at all. Ah, I'd get rid of them anyway. So I already have the video recorded that I'm going to post today. Figured I'd record a day early though because tomorrow is Passover. Tomorrow evening is Passover rather, the first night. And we are going to have a mucho big celebration here. We have more people coming than usual. So yes, my mother is driving herself insane. She just has to bake a whole lot of stuff, and this is the kind of stuff that you can't really get, like, you just said you can't really get good stuff from the store, this type of food. This tall nut is taking a lot of heat. I need to correct that. Yeah, that tall nut's going to be done for soon unless I... Oh, you see, yeah, you see the music's changing now. I guess there are just too many zombies on the screen. That should help. And am I too late? Yeah, I was kind of too late. Of course, a smart thing would have just been to plant another puff shroom close. This also works. Oh, crap, I'm gonna have zombies coming out. Okay, I'll get rid of one of them at least. 
I thought I had more time than I did. Oh well, I mean, the only really tough zombies that'll be here are football zombies, and I can relieve them of their helmets before relieving them of their heads. Yeah, that level was just a lot shorter than I was expecting for whatever reason. This is one problem you can run into when there are several zombies in a lane. The one in front will block the shots of your plants even a couple of seconds after you take its head off. Alright, those plants are somewhat helpful. Okay, if I didn't point it out before, I think pumpkins are better than uh, tall nuts if you're using gloom shrooms. Uh, let's see, is that everything I need? Spike weed might be a good idea, but uh, the other stuff I have is probably enough. Whoa! That's 11 graves. That's a lot of graves. I believe that's the maximum they'll ever throw at you in one stage. Not counting 2-5, where new ones can just pop up. Yeah, so pumpkins are better than tall nuts if you're using gloom shrooms because gloom shrooms have very limited range and a tall nut will get in the way. Pumpkin, of course, since it's in the same space as the gloom shroom, will not. I just, I feel like any three or four flag level where I can't get marigolds is, is a wasted opportunity. Then again, it, I played for a long time without using any marigolds, so I guess I can live with it. It's just like I, I want to minimize the amount of grinding I have to do. The remaining things I have to buy probably cost total maybe... 70 or 80,000. Of course, that's ignoring an expense that, like, there's a certain thing I will get that you can grow. It costs money to get it, and then it costs more money to grow it. I'm not counting the money to grow it. Yeah, not counting that, it's like... Uh, yeah, like I said, 70, 80,000. 70 or 80,000 total, something like that. Yeah, here I'm going to want to take care of some of the graves early, because they're really getting in my face. I just, I looked at the video from last session, it's like, wait a minute, I went almost an hour and I only covered five stages? It's like, okay, well, you started with, uh, you know, reading from the almanac, and you got interrupted for a few minutes, a few minutes, and, and you failed the stage. Oh, and also the stages are generally getting longer. Okay, where should I put the blue shrooms? Scaredy, scaredy, fume, fume, gloom. Spike weed would have also been good, but I think I'll make good use of everything I do have. Okay, I'm going to need to protect that. I'm going to make that into a gloom shroom eventually.
probably do it sooner rather than later. There we go. Now this button I'm just gonna get in my face now. Pumpkin first. Then this. When I turn that into a gloom shroom, I'll have everything in uh, fumes. Everything covered by the fumes. The foggy fumes. That's my favorite level in Donkey Kong Country Returns, foggy fumes. I just think it's so cool the way they did the design. Like, just the way it looks. Oh yeah, magnet shrooms. I should put those in there too. I forgot about them. Guess that's mostly for the football zombies. Speak of the devil. Yeah, you see, since I have a pumpkin instead of a tall nut, the zombies right in front of the gloom shroom will get in range. Which is not what would have happened if I'd put a tall nut there. Okay, that's a problem. Max room, please work. Okay, fine. Um, please kill him. Thank you. That was too close. Okay, except now that row is all gone. Alright, that should provide a temporary fix. I should have been planting more magnet shrooms. That's what I did wrong. If I sound any different from usual, I am trying hard not to speak in a monotone because I am trying to work on my interview skills and I have been told that speaking in a monotone makes me sound like I am bored. Which of course is entirely believable. Yeah, basically this, this guy I saw in New York, I, I talked to him and he said basically that my resume is good and I need work on my interview skills. Which makes sense to me. Alright, now those football zombies should not be getting through. Oh, I know what that reminds me of. The, the sound, it reminds me of uh, Mega Man X2 when you use the bubble splash. Lots of smelly fumes. You know, in the bathroom. Oh, look at all the screen doors getting sucked in. I guess it's kind of redundant having plants that can grab the screen doors and plants that can shoot through them. But you know what? Redundancy can be very good in these building up your defenses against the zombies. Now this is what your lawn is really supposed to look like on a nighttime level. Lots of mushrooms. <laughs> I mean, the pumpkins are the only plants I have here that are not some variety of mushroom. That's not to say that you 
shouldn't use daytime plants in, in, on night levels. Just that a lot of these plants were, you know, just, it was just designed to have to be used at night like that. The mushrooms and 